We will cover the basics of document template configuration in this video and then elaborate more in the next. As a reminder, this is an example of a document template where it's a standard boilerplate document I can use to create new contracts going forward. It will use this template as a foundation, substitute my variables or placeholders with new information to draft a new contract. So it makes drafting agreements and cobblestone very quick and simple. In this video, we're going to talk about how to configure this document template, which is something for super users and administrators. It's something that's um, uh, relatively for set it and forget it. If you would, we're going to set this up and then kind of like leave it alone and we can start using it going forward. So the setup we're about to perform is not for end users. It's not necessarily a day to day practice. Exactly. It's something when you want to add a new template to your system or update an existing template you can do. Okay. Now let's just set expectations for this. Um, it, there is a bit of a learning curve to building document templates for the first time, but there's a relatively low ceiling of difficulty where once you learn the basics, you should be pretty much good to go on most standard document templates. They don't get that challenging. This is also a very practical thing to have configured or to learn how to configure uh, if your document templates are configured during implementation. Cobblestone did them for you as a professional service. It is very valuable to know how to manage your document templates going forward if you want to add new ones or more commonly um, if you want to update them. So uh, it's very, very easy to go update, edit an existing document template to update the language, the standard language of the contract. So if I had a 2022 consulting agreement document and maybe I've been lazy or busy and I have not updated my consulting agreement to 2023, I can go just edit the existing template and bam, I have a brand new version of it. That's a very accessible thing to learn how to do. And that will be covered in this video, of course, as well as the configuration from scratch. So if that all makes sense, so let's get started. I'm going to begin by going up to my main menu down to manage setup, and then down to document templates, and then my template list. So down to document templates and my template list. From here, I have a list of all of the existing document templates in my system, and keep in mind that no document templates come out of the box. They were all user defined or created by yourselves or during implementation at Cobblestone. Also, they are organized by area, people of your system. So here is all my contract templates. Here is my like request templates. Here is my uh, procurement templates. They're separate, they're different. So just keep that in mind. If you want to go to the list, I'm going to edit a particular template and you don't see it, make sure you go to the right area to manage the templates only within that area. That's overlooked often enough. Now, of course, this is a list screen where I can filter and sort through the list. So I'm looking for any particular template, I can sort and filter. On the left, I can go ahead and click Manage Edit to manage an existing template, which we will do in just a moment. And over on the left, I can go ahead and create a new template if I want to. We're not going to create a new template today. In this training video, we're going to modify or manage an existing template. In fact, I'm going to manage this template we've already used as an example. My consulting agreement template. I'm going to go down to my consulting agreement template and click manage. And rest assured that managing an existing template or creating a new one is almost exactly the same thing. OK, so here we are in our template overview. And now this will take me a few moments to explain, but rest assured once you know it, it's very easy, very fast. So first the title, call it whatever you want. Mine is just called consulting agreement, but you know, whatever you want to name your template, that's fine. The description, I usually shrug my shoulders, but feel free to add a nice clear description if you want to. Template area, template table, and template type. Now you'll almost put the same thing every time for these. Let me explain. Template area is the area or like module of the system in which you want to add the template to. 
right? And most often it's contracts and committals. I mean, we're working in a contract management system, right? So it's often contracts and committals. If you are drafting your agreements in your request module, you'll choose contract requests. If you're using these in solicitations procurement, you'll choose that. You just choose the respective area of the system uh, where you'd like to use the template, okay? Template table, you don't have to worry about all that much. Um, each of the areas of the system, like contracts, requests, employees, has a primary table where most of the data is stored. Okay. What you'll do is you want to choose the usually the primary table uh, to build the template off of. But rest assured, uh, template table is considerate <laughs> and will usually just default to be the primary table of the area that you selected. So in this case, I chose contracts and committals and then contract details populated by default. And that's it. I don't have to do anything else. It, it gets it right like pretty much every time. You know, if you're looking to build a very, very specific type of template, maybe you'll change it. But usually what it sets it as is, is fine. Then template type, you'll choose document package here. Uh, in this initial training, you just choose document package. There's nuanced other reasons why you would choose other types of templates uh, in this drop down. But for this example, we're just going to be going through document package, which covers most of the templates uh, organizations use in cobblestone. Next, we have email on change. If you input your email address here, uh, you or, or someone else will be notified every time someone makes a change to the document template, uh, which we don't do very often. One, you might get a lot of emails. Every time someone makes a modification to the template setup, you'll get an email. Uh, and two, I mean, you probably trust the folks who have permissions to do this to manage your document templates. So it's not something we touch uh, very often. So you want to be very cloak and dagger about your templates. Um, we just usually leave that blank, but feel free if you want to. That's fine. Next we have is active template. Um, if you want to use this template now or in the future, put this to yes. If you want to retire the template, but not delete it from the system, which would be advised, uh, turn that to no. The next two Participant authentication and allow IntelliSign uh, are both used if you have the document collaboration add-on module, which we won't be covering in this video here. So we're going to bypass these and circle back to them in a later training. We'll go ahead and click save, or in my case, update at the bottom, and that will complete the overview. Now I need to explain that document templates going forward, the rest of the configuration is done in a bit of a three step process, a three step process. Step one is going to be adding, uh, choosing the data that you want to merge into the document. So choosing my fields, my clauses, my placeholders, choosing all of the information that I will want to merge in. That's step one. Step two is done in Microsoft Word, where we're going to take the placeholders from the system the things highlighted in yellow here uh, and basically create our template in Microsoft Word. We're going to format the document in Word. We're going to format it, copy paste the placeholders in, make sure this looks perfect and beautiful. We'll save it and that completes step two. After step two, we have a completed document template, but it lives in Microsoft Word. So for step three, we simply have to go back to Cobblestone and upload the document template into the system. All right, so again, step one is choosing the placeholders. Step two is formatting the document to Microsoft Word. And step three is uploading the final template into Cobblestone. So let's get started. I'm going to go to my side menu. And right now we are in template overview. We want to go down next to mergeable fields. In mergeable fields, I'm going to be choosing the data I want to merge into the document. So I can choose my type name, my effective date, my counterparty name, and so on. Any data you want to merge in, simply choose the field on the left-hand side, say the contract title, click the right arrow, and now it's assigned in the selected fields list. All of these fields selected on the right are going to be able to be merged into the document. This is data that will be able to be merged. 
a few things here. The order of these fields doesn't really make much of a difference. While you could reorganize them vertically, you don't really need to. Uh, same as the display name, you could change it, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Uh, the one thing you might want to change is the format display. I could change the formats of my dates, short date format, long date format, and about 10, uh, 10 other options. So choose from the drop down list. That's only changing the format for dates. Okay. Next, we are going to talk about a few other types of uh, more advanced placeholders. Uh, but first, let's go tie all this into a bow and make sure the process makes sense quickly. So we're going to go on a bit of a tangent, a fast forward in our training just a little bit. I want to go down now that I chose all my fields, I can go down to a section called mergeable content. Mergeable content on the left. Here, all of the fields I chose, say the contract amount, is given to us in this placeholder format. Now, this placeholder is the language that Cobblestone understands. When it's merging in the data into the document template, it's looking for this exact placeholder format, including the squiggly brackets and all the hyphens. It's going to merge it into that exact section. So I want the contract amount to merge into my template. I'm going to open up my template in Microsoft Word and paste in the document wherever I want the data to live. Like that. So now if I save it like this, the contract amount will merge in that exact location. And now that's basically how step two works. I'm going to copy, paste, copy, paste, copy the placeholders into the document, and that's where the data will merge in. So that's an important process, and you're doing these exact placeholders that come uh, from the system. So you choose the fields in step one, and then in step two, you're going to copy and paste the placeholders into the document to format the document. There's some more principles to follow about formatting the document that we'll talk about later, but the, this is the gist of it. From here, you're going to save this once everything's looking perfect. Go back to Cobblestone and right beneath mergeable content, you can go to attachments and you can upload the final version. And those are the basics of document template configuration. Check out the next video for more details. Thank you.